Good morning, everybody. We're here on a new job. We got Andy, the demolition crew. He got his bobcat here and his super 10. And we're gonna start the demolition phase of the concrete. So this is what we're doing today. It's a brand new driveway. We're gonna be taking out this concrete here, the planter bed there. All that block is gonna be new. We're gonna do a port in place concrete cap on this block. And then we're taking all this concrete out coming through here. So let me take you to the back, show you guys what's going on. So we're gonna replace this with a diamond grid concrete pattern. And all this concrete back here is gonna be new. So it's a lot of concrete coming out today. And we're gonna be doing port in place coping here. So it'll look really good. All this area is gonna be diamond grid concrete, uh, tool jointed. Coming through here, all new concrete, and all the way back here. Over here in this back section, uh, there was a planter bed, but we're actually getting rid of this, and it's gonna be a little turf section back here, just so they have some greenery. It's gonna be a good job, and it's QD demolition time lapse. Alrighty guys, so we got demolition underway. Um, I'm gonna go throw the camera on Andy's head. He's operating the Bobcat and let you guys get a little feel for the uh, tractor. It's breaking out a bunch of concrete, so that'll be kind of fun for you guys. Let's go check it out. Alrighty guys, we're about halfway through demo, maybe a little more than halfway, but we just got the base delivered. About 15 tons of road base here. The Super 10 just dumped it. And we're gonna take this to the backyard with the tractor and grade everything out. Real busy street here, so we kind of have a guy directing traffic too until we can get all this base moved in. Now we're digging some trenches here for a brand new drain system we're installing for the homeowner here. It's gonna cover all the concrete and basically this entire backyard. And then it's gonna shoot out to the gutter where the curb is out front. Uh, he had an existing drain system installed here, but we realized that it was full of roots and it was connected to his sewage system, which is illegal and not very good because if the sewage system gets overwhelmed, then you know a bunch of wastewater can get backed up into the sewer line 
and it just causes a lot of problems. We just completely abandoned it and ran all new piping here and connected into his rain gutters from his roof. So there's the new drain we installed yesterday. The old drain that the customer had actually was draining into the sewer, which was a very bad design. Not quite sure why they tied the old drain system into the sewer. So we just did a new one that comes out to the, the gutter over here. And it was all the way to the back. So that apron will definitely have to be replaced soon. As you guys saw, there was a big crack in it. So maybe that'll be on phase two. We might pull some permits from the city and get that done for him. But in the meantime here, we are forming the new pool coping now. We're doing a port in place concrete for this new pool coping. Uh, we're going to have some fiberglass rebar running through it and we left the existing rebar dowels that came up out of the shotcrete and we tied our new fiberglass right to those rods coming up the new pool coping will also have saw cut joints instead of tool joints it looks a lot cleaner and you can get them in about every 16 inches to ensure that there won't be any cracking on this pool coping ever and because the diamond blade is so thin and narrow and the saw cuts come out pretty thin and narrow, you can cut them in a lot closer without it really being noticeable. Those radiuses were pretty hard to get right, but we were able to do it with some lumber and some bender board. All right, so we're wrapping up day three on this job here. We got the coping all dialed in today. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. You can see this is a two by 10. We just cut a whole bunch of slits into it and we were able to bend uh, the wood around this radius here to make it a perfect radius. On this side, we just use bender board. It's a little easier, but we did do it with the lumber as well. So that it is possible. We also got all the basin today. We got our drains in. We got them stubbed up every so often wherever they're needed. This is where the pool equipment's gonna be. So we're gonna do a little pad here for the pool equipment and all this will be concrete as well. And there'll be a little turf band coming down here. Another drain there, another drain over there. We also got rebar dowels in the shot creek and we'll be tying into those when we put our rebar in the coping tomorrow. Here's the overflow. And this is a little different than the overflow you guys are used to seeing, but we ended up just uh, gluing PVC into here. So if the pool level gets too high, the water will come up here and it'll go into here and we tied that into our drain some more radius work over here we got the same thing two by six bunch of cuts into it and that was 
what made it possible to achieve this radius. We also had to soak it in water to make that happen. All right, we're getting ready to pour the concrete coping here for this pool. We got fiberglass rebar inside. We got Enrique watering it down. And I'm gonna spray some form oil on it right now. We got this form oil. I'm gonna spray it all down so when we strip the forms today, it'll come off nice and easy. And we'll finish it up. everybody we poured out the coping yesterday as you can see here we're spraying some water on it to water cure it we didn't put any joints in it because we're gonna cut the joints in but it came out really nice came out perfect and uh, we're just gonna get ready for concrete for this area tomorrow So Eric there actually rigged up this guide for the skill saw and it made it so every time we ran that skill saw over the coping on top of that guide, they'd come out perfectly straight every time. Uh, he came up with that idea and, and you know, kind of just formed that little guide up real quick and it worked like a charm as you guys can see. Uh, each joint came out very clean no spalling or anything yeah hardly noticeable like i said very clean look if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for part two and three where we pour out this pool deck and driveway with uh, diamond grids it's a lot of detail but it's gonna look really good once it's all finished thank you guys for watching and have a good rest of your day bye